Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Forex trading. So if you want the jewelry, you want to be able to travel, quit your 9 to 5 job, make bank. Man, man. What? What, what, what are we doing here? I thought, I thought we were doing a Forex video. Yeah, we're teaching them how to trade Forex. Yeah. Yeah, Beginner day trader does forex. We're not. We're not. We're not being a guru. We're not what? teaching them how to travel. I thought and that. No, man. No, man. I'm just gonna get out. Go. God, Manny. Oh my God. I leave for one second to get my coffee, which I don't even have my coffee. Where's my coffee? Where? Where is my coffee? Hey. Oh, there it is. Welcome. Sublime. So welcome back. Welcome back my crew to another video. Today's video we're gonna be talking about something really important and really cool because the last video we did a day trading reaction. So today we're gonna be doing day trader takes on Forex. So we're gonna be doing Forex today. Uh, before we get into that, before we get into all the Forex, what Forex is, how do you trade it, all I ask is that you subscribe, you like your comment. Really, it helps me, it makes me feel good. It makes maybe Manny wanna come in front of the camera more because the more viewers, the more comfortable he'll feel to come. <laughs> no. All I ask is that you like, you comment, and you subscribe, just bing, 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 bing. Hit that at the bottom there. Um, and stay tuned till the end. We're going to have a major announcement at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to give you a chance to earn some money. So stay tuned till the end of the video for all of that. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. So if you're here to learn about how to buy courses like that guy or Lamborghinis, I mean, cool. But we're going to talk about something really important, which is Forex, which is really cool. And you heard me kind of wince at Forex a few times when I was talking about it. Um, and there was a reason for it, okay? So for those of you that don't know, Forex or foreign exchange has actually become really big with a lot of retail traders or young uh, you know, individuals uh, like myself, Manny, and a couple other uh, guys and, and gals, right? It's really, uh, it's a really big market. It's actually probably bigger than the stock market just because the volume that's there. So for those of you that don't know, Forex or foreign exchange is basically uh, a currency market. So what does that mean? So let's just pull up an example right here where you have Euro slash USD, okay? So what this means is that you have the Euro dollar, right, against the American dollar. So when you have that slash, it just means that they're against each other. And what it ultimately means is that when you're trying to invest or put money, you're buying Euros, assuming that the Euro is gonna gain strength over the dollar, right? So to make this more practical for my Canadian American uh, viewers, um, right now, I think $1 American can buy you a dollar or can get you a dollar 36 Canadian. So if you would buy, for example, um, $100 worth of American dollar and the Canadian dollar goes up, if you go to exchange the money at the bank, you'll end up getting more money, right? So when you go traveling, this happens all the time. You go to the States, you have to you know, get some money, um, you know, American dollar, and when you come back, you know, you put back the 200 bucks, but you end up getting back $205 or $206 or whatever it is. And that's because the exchange rate has gone up. So you've earned more money. And this is essentially how Forex works. So how does one trade Forex, okay? So although Forex is kind of this exchange and you can you can really trade almost any currency. You can trade the yen, you can trade the Zwolta in Poland, you can trade the Euro, the American dollar, Canadian dollar, um, you can trade pesos, you can trade almost anything against almost any currency. You can also trade commodities, uh, gold, silver against the American dollar, which is really cool. All the time with these fluffs, man. Oh my God, we're gonna have to have like a filter around here with these fluffs. Yeah, fluff. Honestly, yeah, that's three at this point or something <laughs> that you can trade almost any currency realistically. And the really cool part about Forex is that the market never closes. You can trade it 24 hours a day, five days a week because it is closed on the weekend. All markets are closed on the weekend. Now, is can you actually trade it every single uh, day, every single hour? Realistically, no, because just like the stock market, there are periods where the currencies or the movements are a lot more volatile. So, for example, if you want to buy the American dollar against any kind of currency, so we'll use USD versus, let's say, JPY or yen, um, you would want to try to trade that during the American or New York Stock Exchange, right? So there's the Tokyo, the Sydney, um, the London, and then the New York session, right? So each of those sessions will ultimately push or pull currencies up or down, okay? So how does a currency move? Well, it's different and the same as a stock market. Currencies will move based on the strength of the economy 
of each individual country. So for example, America. Based on America's economic strength, it will either strengthen or weaken in comparison to let's say the yen, the euro, and the Canadian dollar, whatever, right? Forex is really, really, really another one saturated with it is really saturated and based on uh, news so for example uh, Biden just announced you know the, the higher tax rates uh, for um capital gains, right? This ultimately actually decreased the American dollar. So everything that's against the American dollars, like Euro USD, JPY USD, Canadian USD, um, ultimately is doing better today. Okay. Oh my God. Wow. So again, let's just whoop, wind up. Why am I making this video? Forex is gambling. Forex is gambling. No, I'm absolutely kidding. Forex is not gambling. Uh, but it, it does feel like gambling a lot of times, especially with who saturated the market. So, uh, Manny, you're going to pop up one advertisement for Lambos, two advertisements for Lambo, three advertisements for Lambo. For whatever reason, the Forex market is saturated with guys trying to sell you courses, Lamborghinis, traveling, quitting your 9 to 5, MLM schemes. There's a lot of saturation in this environment. So why am I making this video today? It's for you guys to see if day trader of the stock market can actually do Forex. Now, disclaimer, I did trade Forex at the beginning when I first started investing. A few guys reached out to me about Forex. I thought it was really cool. I started in it and Forex sucked. I lost a lot of money. Forex was terrible. So I'm going back. We're going to fight the dragon that is Forex again, where the day trader is going to now try Forex and we're going to try my hand in Forex. So stay tuned to how I actually did. I did a full week of trading with Forex and uh, wait to see how I came up. Did I come become profitable or come in a negative? So let's hop right into how I actually performed on day number one. So in day number one, you can actually see that um, I actually filled the account with $11,420.92. Um, the reason I did this is because I actually wanted to buy a lot of um, units or uh, lots or pips is what they call in Forex. Pause it. I totally forgot to mention um, something really important with Forex is that it works different than stock market, which means you don't buy shares, you buy uh, lots or units of a company. So you'll see in the screen recording that I'm buying units of, um, sorry, units of individual currencies. Uh, so that's really important. And also the exchange rate, uh, they call it pips. Okay. But anyway, it's basically every cent change is called like a pip. That's just a very, very broad. And I know a lot of Forex guys are like, that's totally wrong, probably. But what it means is that the money moves very um, it moves different than the stock market. Okay, so you'll see the numbers, the profits and losses moving really quickly, uh, but that's because it's based on this this pip scale that they use. Okay, so like I was saying, that I uh, funded the account with eleven thousand four hundred twenty dollars just so I could buy a large volume, uh, a lot of units um, with uh, forex trading. Uh, so you can see I'm just adjusting my screen here. I'm just making sure that everything is good. I have mapped out already. Um, some uh, resistance and support level that I saw um, within. So as you notice, uh, just under that kind of blue box, I had to do that just to cover my account uh, number, but I'm trading right now on the one minute chart. Um, I generally trade, especially with stocks on the one minute to 10 second chart. Um, and with Forex right now, um, I tried the one minute, but you'll see in a few minutes that I actually scale into the 10 second chart just so it moves a little bit quicker. Um, so this recording, as you can see, um, I actually was trading at 241 or actually this is 141 p.m. Sorry. Um, so relatively the market is kind of slow and I think here I have an order placed on gold. So gold and just come back to my face. So gold basically is uh, gold against the American dollars. That's the currency. So when you see 17,080, whatever, that's how much one ounce of gold is worth in American dollars. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm kind of slipping through certain pairs um, that are looking pretty good that I have. So. Um, right here at minute 130, um, you see that I open up Baby Pips. Now, Baby Pips is a free online service that I, I started using initially um, that you can actually see market sentiment within um, currency. So as I, I pull up, I can see New Zealand USD is doing really well. Um, so basically, I now search up New Zealand uh, USD in order to see how the uh, currency is doing. So I pull it up. Uh, it's not looking really good. Nothing I can see that I want to trade. Um, so I come back to gold at two minutes and 20 seconds. So I have an order uh, at gold just over the last uh, resistance point um, that it has. So as you can see, I switched to a 10 second chart um, and I'm actually going to take my first trade in gold right here. So I actually increased 80 units um, of gold. I believe it's 80 that I put. 
yeah, so actually 50 units. So 50 units. So I spent about um, almost nine grand on uh, gold. So I put nine grand on the line um, in order to get a profit. So uh, just to have an idea, I basically went in with no real strategy. I just wanted to wing it to see how beginner would feel. Um, and I basically said that $100 is my maximum risk. So anytime it hits $100, I get kicked out uh, via my stop loss, okay? So you can see that I'm in a trade right now. I'm down 20 bucks with gold. I check back at the, the baby pips to see if there's any um, other uh, currency that is moving. And I do see that the New, New Zealand USD um, is moving really well. Um, something really interesting happened here. So I was trying to trade the New Zealand USD at the same time that I was trading gold against USD. And for whatever reason, when I searched up New Zealand, I somehow clicked on gas, gasoline cash. So you're gonna see that I actually don't notice. I ended up purchasing 50 units of gasoline against the USD cash, which was a huge mistake. When I noticed, I was actually freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I just bought something that I didn't wanna buy, right? It's on a downward trend. I basically went against all of my uh, understanding of trends just because it was an accident. Um, so I ended up putting 50 units on gasoline. Uh, I was trying to buy New Zealand. I was trying to buy the Kiwi dollar, but um, I ended up buying gasoline. So let's see what happens with gas and if I became profitable or not. So as you can see here at five minutes and 55 seconds, I put in, uh, let me see, I put in a lot more actually than I thought. I think I end up putting 30,000 units in gold. Let me see how much it comes to. I end up putting 50,000 units on gasoline, thinking that I'm buying the New Zealand uh, against the American dollar. So here I am, you know, trying to adjust my stop loss. I'm putting it at the market value. I do have to put a stop loss just because I am trading with such high volume. As you can see, I'm basically putting about seven grand on the line at a time. And I'm putting seven grand on something that I thought I, on something else that I thought I was buying. So anyway, I end up uh, fixing up my stop loss. I put it in once I get it figured out and I put in my, my order. Um, this is when I realized that I actually put in the wrong order and as you can see I'm already down $97 on gas um, So basically I'm down hundred. I didn't sell out. I basically was like, you know what? I'm in now Let's just see if it turns for me and if it does really well. So um, my gold is down. I'm down right now $110 total in the market. So anyway, it starts going and then Jesus came and threw me a holy grail. He, he dunked it, he gave it to me and he said, my son, my child, I will reverse the market for you. So at this point, things started looking good for me. The market started reversing. I started getting uh, my positions out of the red into the green. Um, I'm looking back at a few other currencies. So now I'm only down about $20, $40, $30 and then beautiful gas sinks and I end up getting a profit of $26 so but I haven't sold yet I'm still in it so it goes back to the red it's kind of toggling back and forth and then something beautiful and magical happens it sinks and I end up taking profit out of gold at 14 a crisp $14 a crisp $14 I bought of gasoline so the wrong purchase ended up doing me very well because I actually got $14 off gold um, or sorry, off gasoline, uh, my apologies. Um, so it was a good trade. And gold right now, as you can see in the video, I'm up about $13 and I basically sell with a profit of $10. So that was uh, the Forex trading for day one. So it was a bit of a mistake. I got a little bit uh, heated, a little bit crazy. Uh, I got a little bit worried because I bought gasoline instead of the New Zealand against the US dollar, uh, but it worked, it worked. Uh, total, we came out with a cool profit of 24 sexy, sexy dollars, okay? So that was day one. So day one, let's say profit, $24. It's, it's roughly, I'm not gonna do the cents, but it's about $24. Profit right here. Loss, nothing. Nathaniel, happy. So that's day one. So then at around two o'clock, uh, which I will consider this day two of Forex trading, I um, opened up my chart just to see how gold was doing. Gold was something that I started trading very, um, I noticed that it was moving very quickly and I really liked how it moved. And I saw gold plummeted. So I was in, when I uh, day trade, Every time a stock moves uh, really fast down and it has a lot of red bars on the way down, I basically try to hit a pullback on the way up. So I was trying to use that same strategy here, okay? So remember, I went in with zero strategy. Uh, this was probably the only time that I actually pulled a strategy from my day trading um, plethora of strategies um, and it ended up working. It worked really well. So, so I basically got in at gold and I bought 90 units. So I put $11,000. I put basically all of my margin on the uh, line. I put everything that I have for this one trade 
I know what you're saying, really risky, but hey, you know what? It worked, I put all of my money on the account and I ended up coming out profitable. So I bought gold and it started in the red uh, as usual. And then it basically made its way up, made its way up. It spiked up red or spiked up green. And I ended up selling, or sorry, it ended up hitting my stop loss in profit for a cool $11.93. So total profit, boo, 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 $35 on day two. So you know what? We're feeling good. I was feeling really good after day two. I was up. I said, you know what? Let's start putting in uh, bigger position sizes. Maybe let's stick to more currencies, less gold. Um, so we'll move on to day three. And what happened with day three? So day three, here we are in day number three. I'm feeling like a big baller. We're up 35 bucks. We're feeling cool. We're feeling clean. We're feeling nice. We got the suit on. Don't laugh at me. I know it's a sweater. We get it, Manny. God. Try to steal my video at fluff number four. So we're on day number three, okay, of Forex day trading. So uh, day number three starts off uh, really, 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 really bad. It starts off really bad. Um, we basically take a big position of 80 units on gold. I use about 10 grand on gold again. Um, and it hits my stop loss. It hits my stop loss for a loss of a hundred a hundred dollars profit gone a hundred dollar loss so it hit my my stop loss so i was out a hundred bucks and i said you know what no we're gonna ruin my psychology we're gonna hit revenge trading why not you know watch my next video for not to revenge trade or my last video for the psychology video So we were down a hundred bucks. Um, I basically told myself if I lose three times, I'm out for the day. We'll call it a day. Uh, my max loss will be four or 300 bucks. Uh, so we're down a hundred already. So we'll fast forward. I start, um, you know, using uh, trend line. So I start putting a little bit of strategy in and I buy another 80 on gold. So I end up thinking that it's going to hit a resistance, which it looked like it did. It was going to reverse and it was going to hit my profit. So what happened with gold? I started going back. I started drawing a few more. Um, but then I went to baby pips and I noticed that the euro USD was doing very well So I wanted to buy some euro, but I used too much of my capital on gold So I didn't have enough to trade so I was trying to buy uh, euro I don't think I ended up being able to get filled just because I didn't have enough capital. So I was just holding um, my position of gold. So what I did is um, I was holding my position in gold and I decided that it was about $91, so I took a loss. So that's down 200 bucks today on day number three. So we're hitting a bad loss of 200 bucks today. <laughs> Whew. So then now I had the capital to buy Euro USD. So I ended up uh, making a purchase of in Euro USD uh, for about uh, 80,000 units. So I bought 80,000 units of uh, Euro USD. Um, and I was like, you know what? I feel really confident about Euro USD. We're down. We're in the green. We're down. It was a boxing match. It was like Muhammad Ali versus Mike Tyson. We were back in the red, back in the green, back in the red. Until ultimately, I came out super, super exquisitely negative. Negative. It was another loss. So this loss, it was actually a loss at the end of the day. So and in about 16 minutes also. So I ended up uh, deciding I was going to change plans. So I ended up uh, going back to Baby Pips and seeing what was one of the um, you know best strategies that I could use uh, when it came to Forex trading. So I ended up using the RSI indicator, which will just tell me when something is overbought and oversold. And my strategy going in from this point was, OK, when something is oversold, I'm going to buy. When something is overbought, I'm going to sell. Not a good strategy, but I went in with it and I wanted to see if it would make me some money. So here you can see my USD, your USD position is open. It does end up in the red, so I apologize. It will end up in the red, but I end up taking a position on gold. So I, I used my RSI indicator and I saw gold was very oversold. So I ended up buying gold. I ended up buying 40 units of gold and I felt really confident. I was really good until Jesus was no longer happy with me. No, God, please, no, no, no. I have sinned. And he basically took out another 200 bucks of my account and both of my positions were closed with a cool loss of 200 bucks. Day three, 400 bucks down. Hey guys, listen, I think now is a good time to uh, put in a small 
plug for those of you still watching um i lost 400 bucks help help your brother out i'm not doing very well my coffee is cold i i lost some money you know all you got to do is just follow drippy seth on instagram follow me on instagram just you know throw a heart on a picture it'll it'll make me feel good they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it Anyway, we jumped into day number four with optimism. Okay, we had, we were down and out 400 bucks, but I woke up in the morning. I was feeling clean. I was feeling happy. We were feeling healthy. We were feeling good on day number four. We came in with energy. We came in with vigor. We were ready for day number four. So I came in strong. And again, as you can see, gold has been my best friend. It has made me money. It has lost me money. So I bought 80 units of gold. So I bought 80 units of gold and I was down 30 bucks, but I was down, but not out. And we're going, she starts going into the green. She starts going to the green. So I short sold uh, gold because I thought it was going to crash. I thought it was going to go down and we were in the green. We finally got into the green. We were in the green. We were happy with gold on Forex number three. We were in the green. We were in the green. And then, then I don't know what really happened. Um, gold reversed on me and I ended up going back in the red. Why? That sucked. But we were not done. We were not out for the count. It started reversing. We had a big drop in gold. We had a huge drop. And then I took my profit of 30 bucks, 28 something, but we'll say 30 bucks. Okay. So I took my profit of 30 bucks and that concluded. So that was day four. I ended up not trading uh, day number five on Forex, um, but that was my profit. So for those of you that followed along and those of you that were, uh, you know, keeping track of all of that score. The final count of day trader trying Forex, I came in with a cool, happy loss of $380 and something, something cents. <sighs> I'm not okay, guys. Day trader lost money on Forex. So as you can see, day trader trying Forex didn't go so well. I know what you're saying. Just stick to stocks. I will. I, I will. That's why I'm a stock trader. I'm not a Forex trader. Okay. But um, what are my final thoughts and honest opinions about Forex? There's definitely a lot of money to um, to earn in Forex. I think it's a lot more volatile than stocks. Again, this is just my opinion. Um, but I do think Forex is more saturated than not with uh, Forex gurus and traders and Lamborghini kings. So for those of you that want to try Forex, I would say go ahead, give it a shot. Try in a simulator because it is really volatile. See what works for you and definitely go in with the strategy. Don't go in with me with just, you know, YOLOing, throwing stuff around, t -t 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 monkey, diamond hands kind of thing. Don't do that, okay? Um, so as you can see, Forex is really cool. I mean, it definitely has a large market capitalization. Um, um, and it's something really a really cool way to earn money. So you made it to the end of the video and here's what I promise go follow the Instagram at the bottom at Nathaniel Amaral underscore the last post is a giveaway. I am giving away all of my profits from my day trading. It could be anywhere from zero to four thousand dollars. Listen, go. I'm giving away free money. Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want it? Why would you want it? All you got to do is just subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, like my stuff, send me some, I mean, don't send me money, you're fine. But anyway, that's the giveaway. We're doing a really good giveaway. Manny's excited for the giveaway. I'm excited for the giveaway. If you guys wanna see part two of uh, Day Trader Tries Forex, uh, throw in uh, a like, comment in the bottom, and I'll definitely try to film a part two. So thank you all for coming to another video this week. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Come on, it just helps with the algorithm. Just, 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 just do it. Just, just zoom, just do it. So thank you guys again for watching another video and stay tuned for more. Peace.